My fellow self-advocates, the path to independence is long and hard. And to travel down the path, we need to have a good, reliable system that reflects our independence. What happens when we don't have that system? There is no order, no chaos, or there is no order, chaos, and staff don't get a lot of money. I will agree with it with Ed on that one. Staff don't get a lot of money. And I would like to see my staff here at Holiday Hill get tons more, like $50,000 a year more. My staff at Holiday work hard. They don't just sit around and do nothing. They work hard to protect me. And I don't care if it takes me 30 years or 300 years, I will make, I will advocate rather for them to get more money because I, Kyle Williams, if elected to the board of directors, will get, will make sure that all staff across the southern tier get more money. And South Advocates have the independence that they, that they deserve. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and that is all I have to say. Hello to all the self-advocates in my region. I am making this speech today, hoping you will re-elect me to the board. I would like to second the motion. I would like to second. Hello to all the self-advocates in my region. I am making this speech today, hoping you will re-elect me to the board. I am the current vice president and have served on the board for five years and hope to have more. If elected, I have some advocacy topics I want to focus on going forward. I want to speak up against service funding cuts. I want to see more affordable and quality housing for advocates in my region and across the state. I want to see competitive wages for our staff. I also want to see a more inclusive environment for all advocates. Those are my goals for the future. Thank you, and please vote for Rob Baums in the election. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. That's Robert Baums. Yeah. How are you doing? My name is Edward James Palumbo. I'm running for the board seat uh, for the Southern Tier. I have sat on numerous boards, 35, made 20, made 20 presentations, one. The award for um, for being sub advocate uh, of the year and of the century had numerous had numerous um, endorsements from Elgato, Humor, just to name a few of both state and the United States Congress. I have also made numerous uh, presentations and even did a um, central regional conference single handedly. Now, the reason why I'm now, the reason why I'm doing this for years, for since the COVID 19, OBWDD, 
have seen, it, I mean, has been seen as true colors. First of all, A, for not uh, letting residents of your group home not even let you have a phone call, email, or non or non visit. I can understand the uh, the you know the um, I can understand them protecting us. I mean you. I mean protecting the group home brothers and sisters from COVID, but this doesn't give them a license to to restrict or prohibit any kind of telephone calling, make it impossible for people to use Wi-Fi or any other technical device, and even charging outrageous prices so, so they can use a um, they can use a device. This is also wrong. On the other hand, transportation is a very huge issue in this area, not in Binghamton, but all over, but all over the southern tier where I live. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my home. And really, this is truly why I'm running. Yet lastly is I am I'm also advocating for direct support professionals to get higher wage. I have two, I have two very excellent uh, staff members, Gina and Amy. I'll get to Amy first. Amy, she has two jobs and has to make a living and not even getting paid enough, not even with me, to make her rent and pay her car insurance. The rent, as we all know, is too high here in the sudden tier. Not in Binghamton, but every place else. It's true, it's true where she lives. Gina Piwa, she works with me for very hard and very and very strong and very and very long for me. Would they have without work? Because I cannot go any place. Because they will not set me. I just took a glance at her school at her school taxes. It's over three hundred thousand dollars. Plus her property taxes must be at least ten thousand. I know as a hot property owner, that's a really high uh that's a really high. And that and that shouldn't be as it is. I think she should get paid more money between fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, maybe even more. I'm not asking for the moon. I'm just asking for people to vote for me. Transportation, of course, I made a presentation numerous times on uh, on that. I'm also currently a member of Breath and Sisters of South Africa, which is a statewide South Africacy group. And also, too, I am also a member of the Rights uh, for People with Disabilities of New York State and of the United States, as well as as well as around the world. I have brought this attention to the people of the sudden, I mean, of our, of our crisis of sudden tear. Not in Binghamton, but all over the sudden tear. Rights and independence are my main focus. I have done it in numerous boards in the 35 years, I mean, 35, Boards, I have done this, and in 30 years, I have done this. Please elect an experienced uh, professional. Edward James Colombo, I will not let you down. I have not in the past, nor will I ever do it in the future. 